Hi, I'm Ann Harrigan, music director of the Billings Symphony Orchestra and Chorale, inviting you to explore music with us. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to play a musical instrument? The Billings Symphony Orchestra has four musical families. The strings, the woodwinds, the brass, and the percussion. Today, we are going to introduce you to the brass family the French horn, the trumpet, the trombone, the euphonium, and the tuba. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our adventures in music. <laughs> everybody. We are the Billings Symphony Orchestra Brass Trio. My name is Andy and I play the trumpet. My name is Mike. I play the horn. And I'm Mark and I play the trombone. The brass family is a group of instruments made of brass. We make sounds by creating a silly buzz with our lips like this. When we buzz our lips into these mouthpieces, it sounds like this. And then, when those mouthpieces go into our instruments, it creates a sound like this. There's another instrument in the brass family that isn't here with us today. Do you know what it is? If you said tuba, you're right. The tuba is the biggest instrument in the brass family, which means that it's also the lowest pitched one. So, we are the Billings Symphony Orchestra Brass Trio. In case you are wondering what the word trio means, it simply means three. And as you can see, there are one, two, three of us. Three musicians performing together is called a trio. And what's cool about this trio is that the instruments you see all belong to the same family, the brass family. I'm playing trumpet in this group. As a trumpet player, I cover most of the higher notes in the group. I can change notes using both my fingers and my lips. When I tighten my lips, the notes go higher, like this. When I lower and loosen my lips, the notes go lower. I can also push down these valves in various combinations to play specific notes. Now we're going to play a very famous tune for you, written by Jeremiah Clark, called the Trumpet Voluntary. 
If you've ever been to a wedding ceremony, you've probably heard this tune. It was written around 1700, which is over 300 years ago. I'm playing the horn in this trio. Now you might know this instrument as the French horn, but it's not actually French, it's actually German. It's just that France is much closer to England, where our language comes from, and so the English of the time thought the instrument came from the closest piece of land they could see across the water, which happened to be France. Even though a lot has changed since those early instruments, which you might recognize as being Christmas ornaments, and just have the single loop and look real pretty on your Christmas tree, it doesn't have all this stuff in the middle. All this stuff in the middle helps me play different notes that those early instruments couldn't, much actually like the trumpet. Um, I can tighten my lips or loosen them to get a whole bunch of notes without even using that. And like the trumpet, when I push down my valves and I have an extra thumb one, all it really does is change how long my instrument is, and that means I can play a whole bunch of other notes that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. The horn is also the only instrument where the hand is actively in the bell while you play. The reason for this is that back, way back in the day, this was the only other way to change notes without using valves, which hadn't been invented yet. Nowadays, composers who write music for movies really just use this for pretty much horror movie sounds. This is called Stopped Horn.
I play trombone in the brass trio. The trombone is similar to both the trumpet and the horn in a few ways. There's, of course, the mouthpiece, and you buzz into the mouthpiece, as we discussed, and then also the material. It's brass. Each of these instruments is made of brass. But what do you notice of the trombone that's pretty different? That's right, this thing. This thing is called the slide. Instead of valves with my fingers up and down, I just extend my arm in and out. Let's look closer to see what happens to the pitch when I do that. Lengthening the slide lowers the note. It lowers the pitch. But then when I shorten the slide, it goes up. We'd like to perform a rather fun song for you guys called Toreador. A Toreador, if you're not familiar, is a Spanish bullfighter. And this song came from a very famous opera called Carmen, which tells the story of a woman in Spain. The composer, Georges Bizet, uses lots of Spanish influences to create the melodies that you're going to hear. As you listen, take time to enjoy watching my arm move my slide all over the place as I grab all the different pitches in the song. Maybe like a Spanish toreador? final thing we want to share with you about the brass family that's special is mutes. The big end of our instrument is called a bell because, well, it looks kind of like a bell. And if we put something in that, it changes the sound. This is a cup mute, and I will show you how it sounds without it and then with it. I also have a bell, which means I can also put a mute in it. Now you already know that I can put my hand in there to get a different sound. As you'll hear with the mute, it's a different sound from that and from open. It's much sweeter though.
The trombone also has a bell, as you can see, which means I also get to play with mutes. I don't have my cup mute, but I did bring for you my straight mute. And here's what it sounds without the straight mute. This next piece of music is called Parting Glass. It's a traditional Irish tune that I've arranged. Arranging means taking one piece of music from a group, and rewriting it for another group. In this case, a brass trio. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. We've greatly enjoyed playing for you today, and we hope that you'll take advantage of the opportunity to learn a band or orchestra instrument when you have the chance. Even if you're not sure you're going to enjoy playing an instrument, try it out. I bet you'll have a lot more fun than you think. Thank you so much for taking the time to get to know this trio of brass instruments. Maybe the experience will not only help you understand a little bit more about music, but also the instruments in the brass family in general. Wow.